Hey everybody, Invisible Katani here doing my super duper late unboxing for, um, I want to say it's the February Loot Crate. Um, don't remember the theme in any way, shape, or form. Mine came in fairly late. It, I'm doing this even later than it actually got delivered, but it didn't get delivered until this month. It was like, I think March 4th was when mine actually got delivered. So it wasn't, you know, it was already like a week or, yeah, I guess that would, that would be just about a week, a little bit over a week, a week and a half uh, late. Because of course it's normally around like the last week of the month. And this month as well, yeah, I guess technically this month as well as last month's January and February's, both of those came in super late. Um, this one especially, because I think I got mine on the last day of January when I got it delivered. You'd have to check my last review for that. But this one was definitely like, I didn't get any notifications. And I have a friend, we, we were talking about it and she asked me the same thing, like two months in a row. I was like, did you get your, you know, like your, your uh, shipping info? And I was like, nope, I haven't gotten anything. And so it was like, the last week of February where it finally came in and it was like, yep, it's shipping out now. It should be there, you know, March 4th. And I was like, oh, cool. That's super duper late. So already late, but wanted to do the unboxing. Devil May Cry came out also. So you guys can check that out on my channel. That's another big reason I haven't done this because la all of last week was like every day was just do Devil May Cry, upload Devil May Cry and edit Devil May Cry. So that was pretty much it. So I was like, I'm just going to do Devil May Cry. I'll get to this later. But getting right into it, we'll start with the shirt, of course. I love the color. And it is Adventure Time. Oof. There we are. Oh, it's Finn's face. Finn the human. That's actually kind of cool. I don't watch Adventure Time, actually. I never really did. I've seen, like, a couple things. And I like some of the songs that they actually made for the show. But that's cool. I like the shirt. I don't really watch the show. But blue is my favorite color. And oddly enough, it is. this is fairly close to, like, my favorite shade of blue. So that's definitely cool. It's definitely in there. Like, this is always one of the good shades. So... That's great for the shirt. Uh, even though I don't watch the show, I still like that shirt. It's still a good shirt. There's some, there's some fairly large items in here. Like there seem to be like two really big items. So I guess either one is good. Oh, okay. We have something for the Hulk. It's an adult collectible, not a toy. 17 plus it says, so that's very interesting. Let's see what epic figures they've given me this day. This is probably from uh, it doesn't say, but it seems like this would be from the same company that does it. You know, they've basically switched out to using the company that does, like, the more expensive stuff. Oh, okay. This one you don't have to put together, though. Very simple. Old school. The Incredible Hulk. Bursting through a wall. That's pretty nice. I like it. Um, it does look a little weird, like, how big his fist looks compared to, like, like it's the scale of it all, so... This fist is like ginormous, and then it's just like he's got like one hand that he just doesn't use for anything. Like he's super duper right handed, like he only uses, or he's super duper left handed, I should say. Like he only uses like his left arm for anything, and then his right hand is just like, eh, this is super weak. But it does look cool. I do like this. It's actually pretty sweet. So it's old school, the Incredible Hulk. I do like that. I like the bricks and stuff, the little pieces. So I think that's pretty cool. So I definitely think that's a, a nice item. Like it's very easy very thin you know all things considered it's a fairly thin item so you can just plop it down somewhere i got it i can you know shoot it right up on my bookshelves go next to all my other nerdy collector's editions and other loot crate items that i got up there and i think this is a cup i'm just gonna assume what is this oh there's nothing on it as far as details it's the mysterious black box that length i would say that's a, a cup it's gonna end up being a glass or something or it's gonna be one heck of a figure if it's not but it's a glass which is what i expected it's also blue which i love Ooh. I actually love this. This is Naruto. I freaking love Naruto. I'm like obsessed with Naruto. So that's awesome. Naruto Shippuden, of course. So that's pretty sweet. I love that because uh, Naruto is one of my favorite anime. So I've been watching it since it was on Cartoon Network. And then, you know, now I still currently watch Boruto subbed. Not as good, but, you know, still. But that's awesome. I love Naruto. I can always use a new glass, a new nerdy glass. Um, I think Loot Crate's given me most of the nerdy glasses that I have because I have the... Um, the Metal Gear one with the uh, Fox Sound logo on it. And then I have like the, because I, I bought the Mass Effect limited edition crate for Mass Effect Andromeda. So I got like the two little Vortex swirl glasses. I've got some Tokyo Ghoul shot glasses. I got the little Tiki shot glass of uh, Raphael from Ninja Turtles. And now Naruto can go right in there. Everyone's going to see this and they're just going to assume I bought it because it fits perfectly. Because I, I literally have like the first 10 seasons of the series on DVD. People are just going to be like, oh, you bought a Naruto glass. They're like, I actually got it from something else. But I can see how you might think that. Ooh. 
So this is, um, I guess it's based on the Transformers battle card game. And it is um, Omega Supreme, which a bunch of holographic Omega Supreme. A bunch of you probably just like, that doesn't even mean anything. But I love Transformers along with Naruto. Transformers is like up there with like top franchises like Transformers, Ninja Turtles, Star Wars, Resident Evil, Back to the Future, Naruto. Those are like my huge franchises. So I love anything Transformers, even though it's just a card for Omega Supreme, who is like ginormous. He's like the rocket ship in the OG1 cartoon. Uh, basically, he was literally a rocket ship. And he'd be like, all right, we got to go to Cybertron. Everybody hop on Omega Supreme. This is like later season. So like end of season two type stuff before the movie came out. But love Omega Supreme. It's pretty cool. So we got the pin here. And we have another item for Alita Battle Angel. So I think it was last month, the loot anime had a figure for Alita Battle Angel. Um, my friend didn't like it, so she actually gave me the figure, so it's on my bookshelf. Uh, but here's the pin for the month. It's just like the Alita robot hand, so that's kind of cool, I guess. It looks interesting. It, it seems very artsy. Like, if you don't tie it to, like, the Alita thing, it's just, like, this cool metallic hand. I have a friend who might actually like this, and it, it could have zero relation to Alita, and I think she think it's pretty cool. So she could probably have that, because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Then, of course, we have the inside of the crate here. It's just a giant Hulk face in a square. That's it. Or a rectangle, technically. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's the instructions to fold it. I'm not going to do that for this one, because I don't care about that. And it was transformation. Okay. Uh, transformer should have been the main thing then, if it's transformation. I love that Naruto's in there for transformation. That's hilarious. Um, I felt like that's, it's just funny that they did that. I don't know if they were thinking more along the lines of like transformation as the character because he has like a hundred different phases. He hasn't done the sexy jutsu in a long time. They did the reverse harem jutsu though towards the end of Shippuden. All this is irrelevant if you don't watch the anime. Um, but yeah, that's, that's interesting that Naruto's in there for that. Transformers should have been like the big item. Now I gotta check out, um, I need to check out the loot crate, the, uh, DX crate for this month because I knew Transformers was in it, but I was like, oh, I don't know, wanna, I don't think I want to do it for that. But that's cool. So, let's see, Transformers double size, double sided oversized car licensed by Hasbro. So whether it's a new toy line, animated series, or budget blockbuster, the Transformers franchise has stood the test of time, earning its place as a staple in pop culture history. For almost 35 years, the Autobots and Decepticons have been fighting the ultimate battle between good and evil on Earth while remaining robots in disguise. This official extra-large playable card for the Transformers trading card game features OG Autobot Omega Supreme, who transforms into a rocket, tank, and base. Play this exclusive double-sided card next time you want to transform the outcome of your next game. I will never do that because I will never find anyone to play the Transformers card game with, and I will also not buy the Transformers card game. Love Transformers, but I don't buy cards. It's cards and comics. Like, you have to keep buying them to keep up. I'm, I'm, I'm way too poor for that, so I just can't. It says, top five most dramatic transformations. Number five is Kratos. The transformation that takes place within Kratos during the God of War series isn't a physical one, although it is eventually revealed that Kratos is the son of Zeus, spoilers, is the son of Zeus, <laughs> making him a demigod, and he's got a better beard now, which is true. It's, it's intense. It's one of humanity and heart. While Kratos still violently destroys and destroys any and everything in his path, he's developed a compassion that hasn't been seen in previous games, which many attribute to his new traveling partner and son, Atreus. As many know him, boy. Uh, then we have four for, I'm not going to read all these, Professor Snape, number three was Naruto, number two was Anakin Skywalker, and number one is, of course, the Hulk. I'm curious about this Naruto one, though. So it says, when it comes to transformations, no character is more prolific than Naruto Uzumaki. Still with the power, powerful Ninetales demon fox as baby, it just says, as baby, um, as a baby. Naruto struggles to find acceptance in his quest to become a great ninja and leader of his village, also known as the Hokage. Throughout the massive series, Naruto finds power in the form of various tail beasts, ultimately revealing his strength. Okay, so they kind of do both. They're going through just the amount of times they do changes. You know, if you watch anime, if you don't watch anime, they go through a lot of, like, changes as far as characters and stuff. And I think it was, it was probably a year before the series ended, the manga ended. They have an opening, which is, is one of the best, uh, for me personally, I think it's one of the best, like, um, cover art panels and it was Naruto throughout the years and it showed him like as a child all the way up to where the series was currently so it went through like him as a little kid to him in like the beginning of the series when he became a ninja to Shippuden to um, like some of the different 
abilities that he gains so there's one where he goes in sage mode so he does this giant battle and he has like a red cloak on so they had that image and then they had him doing what was called like a nine tails cloak so they had the first time he did it and then it upgrades over time and it changes and stuff like that and there are like seven separate images for his character and then sasuke who's like the antithesis he's the vegeta so naruto is like naruto's goku sasuke is vegeta that way i'll keep it simple for you who doesn't actually watch naruto um but they had images for them like throughout the series so if you think of dbz how the characters costumes have at least in Vegeta's case, they changed. Uh, Goku's pretty much been the same permanently. Um, but just like the little things, instead of changing the hair, the costumes actually change for the characters throughout Naruto. So I, was, I thought that was like one of my favorite um, like cover pages for the manga. I thought it looked super cool. But this crate, I actually like. I think this was a decent crate. Um, it was last month's crate that I thought was like really mad. But this one I like. I like the Incredible Hulk figure. Um, I'm kind of surprised that it's this and not something closer to um, you know, of course, the Marvel movies or anything like that. But, I, you know, I'm totally fine with it. I like the Hulk no matter what. Just with it being, you know, the Marvel movies and cinematic universe and all that crap. I'm kind of shocked that they went kind of old school Incredible Hulk with it. So I think that's cool. I obviously love Naruto, so that always works. Um, the shirt, like I said, even though I don't actually watch Adventure Time, I still like it. Uh, this is kind of in the same vein as the, uh, the figure they gave us months ago. But it was uh, the Ice King he it was like him and like two or three penguins and it's like him on his throne and it's like you know it's a really nice looking figure and i was like i don't watch the show but that's still a really sweet figure so i like the figure just like i like the shirt so that's cool uh transformers card is like whatever you know it's cool that it's transformers and i do like the fact that it's a uh, nice double size uh figure just because it or, or card i should say and that's mostly due to the fact that it has this image on it which i think looks cool because i like omega supreme uh, would have been super sweet if it was Metroplex. I just like the look of Metroplex. Um, but yeah, I think that's actually a decent crate. Obviously, it, you know, it varies for every person. Some people probably won't give a crap about Naruto if you don't actually watch anime. Uh, of course, this is a loot anime, so it's once again surprising that Naruto would even be in there. Um, obviously, it's been so long, I forgot that Naruto was in it. And I try not to know what franchises are going to be in it anyway, so I can be like 100% surprised. Um, so I am still shocked that Naruto's in every once in a while they sneak something in there where it's like surprise this isn't loot anime but here's an anime item but and I'm, I'm totally fine with that because I love Naruto but yeah I actually think this was a decent crate I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with it uh, as late as it was I'm glad I enjoyed it because we've had some crates uh, recently where it was just like eh like not you know not the biggest thing in the universe but I like these I like these items I think they're pretty decent the card is legitimately the only thing where I'm just like you know whatever the shirt I think is good I love blue so that that always helps even if I don't like the image blue is my favorite color so that's good the Incredible Hulk figure is pretty cool and easy to put somewhere because some of the figures will be big like the ones that they have um, where it's like the limited things I wish I could remember the name of that company they used but is the one you know where the figures are kind of like chibi base and you have to like stick them in those are like fairly long figures they're kind of like this long and instead this one's you know it's tall instead of being like that long where you have to be like all right i have to like figure out where to put this long thing and stuff so it's cool that it's it's just that you know it's it's like an inch like an inch and well probably two full inches i guess with this but you know that's nothing like that, that's super simple you can just boom, stick it right up against something and it'll stand there no big deal so i like the items in this uh the pin is never really that important to me i never like put my pins on anything so i'm totally fine with it just being this i don't really care that much um so I i'm happy with this one i'm, I'm pleasantly surprised because like i said i think it was the last couple where it was just like you know kind of just okay so definitely enjoyed this one of course we'll love to know what you guys thought about this crate so please put your comments down in the comment section below let me know your favorite items your least favorite items how you guys would have rotated things what would you have made the shirt what would you have made the figure the glass all that stuff um excuse me if i had to choose i would have probably done hmm that is a good question i would probably do the figure for transformers just because i don't have an actual transformers figure and that would be like i think i like transformers more than I like naruto like i just uh, something about transformers i just love transformers when it's done right um i love transformers so i would have done a transformers figure I've got a buttload, you know, I've got some, some, like 10 seasons of Naruto on DVD. I don't really need a figure. I also have a figure, a Naruto, a Naruto figure. I have Sasuke. Um, so I'm fine with that being the glass, but I probably would have done Transformers as the figure. Um, they've done like a holographic card for the Incredible Hulk before, it was, like the 3D thing where it would change from Banner to Hulk. So to just do an image, it would probably lessen it for some people who you know if you remember that it would probably lessen it to be like oh it's just a regular card it's not even that special but for me i would still prefer a transformers figure um or an naruto figure i'd still be fine with that because i love the series so much but 
Uh, if anything, Heck, a Transformer shirt would be super cool too. I've, I've got two of those, so I can always. I've got like three, four. I've got four of those. I, every time I think about it, I'm like, I've got like three. I've got a bunch. Um, but I could use another one. That would be super cool. I'd be totally fine with that. Um, but yeah, it's like it, I like the way it was all done. So it's like I don't really mind that it's not switched around. But yeah, do Transformers for the figure. Swap that with the Hulk. Um, another Naruto T-shirt, and then do Adventure Time for the glass. I'd be fine with that too. But, like I said, I kind of like how everything played out, so I'm okay with this. There's not one where I'm like, oh, I would really love this, except for the figure being Transformers 100%. I would love that, because I don't have, I've got, like, one little blind box figure of Transformers. So, aside from that, I don't have, like, actual Transformers figures, so that would be cool. And other than that, it's good. Fine with Adventure Time shirt, fine with the Naruto glass, especially since the glass is blue. I think that's cool, because... Normally, all their glasses are just generic clear glasses. Like, their shot glasses, I feel like they always do very special. They're always colored, or um, Luke Gaming had it, like, a few months ago where they did, like, the Doom uh, shotgun slugs. Like, the shells were the shot glasses. So I feel like every time they do shot glasses, they're always very specialized. Their normal glasses are just normal clear glasses. They just put, like, the image on it. So I was like, okay, that's a little bit more unique. It's a blue glass. I don't know if this is... I don't think this is exclusive. Also, do not microwave, and it's cold liquids only. Hand wash only as well. Do not soak. 14 plus. Okay. Uh, yeah, pretty sure this isn't an exclusive figure or anything either, or exclusive uh, glass. But, yeah, I like this month's crate. I, I'm pleasantly uh, surprised by it. So that, that's definitely good. But, like I said, definitely want to know um, what you guys thought about this crate, what you would have swapped in. I mean, transformation, you can do a million different things. They chose Naruto, which I think was personally a little weird. Unless you're going on the character thing, which they even put in the book. Like, you know, Kratos' journey wasn't, like, a physical change. It was more emotional. So, it's like, okay, you can kind of do that for almost any character, technically. But, you know, it definitely makes sense. I do feel like Transformers really should have been one of the main things. It's Transform. You know, it's Transformation. It should have been the shirt or it should have been the figure. Just based on the fact that you, you go Transformation, you go Transformers. That's just a basic thing. It doesn't really matter that much, but it's just Transformers. It's almost like it's... It's owed to that because if you say if you're doing something based on transformation, the biggest item should be Transformers automatically just because. Yeah. I mean, nobody's going to do Beetleborgs. I love Beetleborgs, though. Um, man, that's an old reference. I don't, uh, big Bad Beetleborgs. I love that show. That was a good show. Um, but anyway, <laughs> thanks for checking this out. Like I said, if you guys have any comments, please put them down in the comment section below. And, of course, thanks for watching.